right. In this video, we are going to walk you through how you can change your profile photo when you have started a Google Workspace account. Now, for some small business owners in the very beginning, you will just be using a regular Gmail. But as your business grows and as you make the decision to do so, you may want a more professional email to feel and look the part. So what I mean by that is having your name at your company name dot com. So in this example, I'm going to show you exactly how you can change that profile photo, which as you can see here in the top right of the screen, you see a blue circle that says P2. And by default, it is turned off so that you cannot customize this photo. But I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that so that you can put your company logo, your business logo, or whatever photo or image you see fit. Uh, so to how to do this, first things first, you're going to log into your account. And then you're going to go to the admin console. You can access the admin console simply by going to admin.google.com and you will see a screen like so. From here, you are going to click on the three top left, three horizontal lines right next to the word Google admin. And you'll see this menu pop out. From here, you're going to go hover over where it says directory and then slide over and select directory settings. On this screen, directory settings, you will see where it says profile editing. You will click there. And this will have been unchecked where it says photo. What you'll see by default is your profile information and you will see the areas that you cannot edit. This is the default, default settings. So name, photo, and gender cannot be uh, edited unless you check the box. So what you're gonna do is select or check the box next to photo scroll down and click save. Because I've already done this, it's not letting me save right now, but this button will be blue, you will click save and that is it. Give it a few minutes and pretty soon you will be able to change the photo simply by clicking right there or even doing so at the admin console. I hope this was helpful. Leave a comment if you thought so and we'll see you on the next video.